and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of the salt water scourge in the Lab of Legends. This is a really cool Lab of Legends mode, the newest Lab of Legends mode. And we have two brand new champions that are added in to the salt water scourge. We got Nami and Pike. Uh, so far, you know, we had Misfortune and Tom Kench and Twisted Fate before in this little bilge water adventure where you build your own deck or, or, uh, along the way. And today, with a uh, new patch update, we got these two champions added in. So pretty excited about them. So we're going to go ahead and play Pike today. That's going to be what we're going to do. Um, we're going to be trying to get an A rating in skill, A or better. That's going to be our goal. And uh, you can see here, if you get an A or better uh, skip, you know, rating in the, the skill category, which is the first category, with all five champions, then you get this neat Gangplank card back. So that's going to be kind of our guide here of how to do that. Now, in order to do that, what that to get an A or better in skill, it means that you cannot die during your run. Okay, so no deaths at all during this run. That's the key. You can heal as much as you want. You can do anything else you want. Doesn't matter how long it takes you. You can take two hours on the run. You know, 30 minutes on the run doesn't matter. You just cannot die. That's how you get the A or better in skill. If you want to get an S tier in the skill, which I haven't done, I, I've been focusing on the other Lab of Legends. I've not focused really on going th through these champions and getting S tier on everything. This is your skill, your speed, and your wealth. To get the S tier on the skill, you need to not only not die, but then also not use any of the healing um, stations. And also, I'm pretty sure you can't even use the healing stations to get rid of cards from your deck either. Not only just don't heal your your nexus, but also not get rid of cards in your deck. Because because um, I went through one before and I didn't use any I didn't use any to heal my nexus, but I did use them to get cards out of my deck, and I did not get the S rating. As you see, I don't remember which champion it was, but I have the A rating. Uh, but it's been a while. Uh, I don't know if they changed that or not, but I'm just 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 warning, <laughs> just in case. Um, if you're trying for that S tier, maybe don't even cut any cards from your deck. Just don't even go to the health stations. Um, chat says that, like, you know, one person says you you can cut, to my knowledge, um, but you need to be level 8 at the end. Okay? Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Um, if you want to be safe, <laughs> you know, just don't, don't, don't even visit them at all. Okay. Anyway, we're, we're only going to be looking, trying to get the A rating. Okay, so we're not going to be going to the S tier rating here. We're just going to be trying to get the A rating. And let's go with Pike. Pike's cool champion and everything like that. We have a, we're going to be playing Nami at, later on today with the Felios Nami. So we're going to play Pike. I don't know what this deck looks like or anything. This is going to be brand new to me also. But man, isn't this so cool? The one player mode on the, in Legends of Runeterra is, is incredible. I also really highly recommend playing these labs. Both this lab and the original Lab of Legends. Um, basically, every day you get really good XP bonuses for your first however many wins um, in these modes. But then also, you win games faster in these modes than you do in normal, you know, ranked. So you're going to really pile up XP faster with this. If you're if you're trying to build your collection and get lots of cards and trying to get those weekly rewards and get those region reward uh, paths done, the labs are a great tool for that. So we got Karma. As our um, first boss, you get two boss fights in this. Karma's going to be our first boss. Gangplank's going to be our second boss. Um, okay. So let's just kind of see. So all that for our goal here is to not die at all. So we can take our time. We're going to be going through every single little node and, you know, acquiring the most wealth that we can and making the best deck that we can. We're not going for speed. We're going for that A rating on the skill. And that means no dying. So remember not to die. We have to make our deck really good. So I don't even know what, what cards are in my deck. I guess I probably could have checked somewhere. Oh, I need to switch this. I need to switch switch this to get to Pike's board. I'm sure I probably can do that. We definitely need Pike's board. Hey, look at that. We got lucky. Got a lurk on top. This is a, like a perfect lurk hand. You get your, your one drop lurk and then the snap jaw swarm round two to be able to lurk on the second round. 
early on in the lab, your opponents start off with one less mana. So like that round one, they actually had zero mana. I don't want to take any Nexus damage at all. Ever. Let's get it, crew. All right, no Lurk for me. Lurk would have been lethal. Wow. That's a, like the perfect double trouble. Those are two amazing one drops. You got my pike. But I assume we can just attack and finish this game. Yep. Alright. Sorry, wiggly burble fish. GG's. I should have shown, but yeah, it said it showed there that we got 400 bonus XP for that win. It was just a super easy win, a really uh, short game. Now, battle rewards, choose a card. I think this is pretty obvious. We'll get Twisted Fate. I mean, come on. <laughs> so it looks like there is one reroll down here. That's a new thing in this game mode. There, that wasn't a thing before. It's limited rerolls. As you see, there's only one, and that you know carries over to other stuff. I think you can add, you can gain additional rerolls with other stuff, but it's not like if we use this, the next time we'll get another one. That's just the only one in there. Um, I think I'm going to take the Fizz and just stay Bilgewater. Star, Star Spring, Soraka, Astral Protection are all good cards. Thermo, Flash, and Hymer. Also all pretty good cards. But I don't know if that really pairs with Pike. Um, I don't know if Fizz really pairs that well with Pike either. But it's an aggressive card. There's different powers. If we can get the power that like all units that cost three or less have lurk, that could be pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna grab this fizz. All right, we get two additional health. Okay. How do I? All right, we're gonna figure that out. The slaughter docks. We can buy something slimy. We have thirty coins. And all these cost more than 30 coins, so we will just leave for now. Let's head... Okay, looks like... Oh, looks like this is the path, actually, to the right that goes down there. So actually... Yeah, I actually want to go back up this way. Because this way up up here, this is like the closed-off path. So I want to just take, take care of this closed-off path before continuing on. Usually it's the other way around. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, there we go. Perfect. Woo, load out. All right. Load out. Let's go to Pike's board. I got worried there for a bit. All right, sunken shipyard. Where's our Pike card back? Yeah. Okay. No guardian. We don't really need a guardian in the lab. Okay, so the rerolls you can purchase for thirty gold in the shops. Cool. cool. All right, we're, we're not really a Pike deck anymore. <laughs> now we're a Twisted Fate Fizz deck. At least that's what it seems like. I should probably look at what the deck and see what the deck looks like. Oh, we don't have the attack token. But what if I wanted to attack? So we have protection for Fizz. Death from below. Let's go. Thank you. I'll take that. Nagaku guide us. 
Yes. Ooh. Of course, this is like the very beginning of the lab, so these games are pretty easy. They're still at one. Play something that dies to this. Nope, that doesn't work. I guess we went red card. There we go. Figured it out. Figured out how to do one damage. Okay. Second one down. So you get these... Like, these games can go super fast, and you get this bonus XP. So you get all this stuff. And see... Last one was 400 XP. This one's 200 XP. Like, that's just easy XP for super fast games. Otterpus. Yeah, more powder is intriguing as well, but I think I'm just taking the Otterpus. All my cards are... Here we go. All my cards are Bilgewater, though, right now, right? So then I mess up my cool all Bilgewater deck. Yeah, I really don't have very many Lurkers. We got Sharkling, Redfin, Hammersnout, Snapjaw Swarm, Pike. Only one Twisted Fate? Weird. So what am I using this more power for? Basically just Twisted Fate, right? Nothing else? Oh, double up. Yeah. Alright, we're going to take Otterpus. Alright, we're level 3. Do we get a power? Yeah. Little Buddies. Dude, Little Buddies is broken. I don't know, do we just take little buddies? I mean, it's pretty broken. It's gonna help us not die, I suppose. What's up, Jay Maskell? Now this otter post really doesn't matter very much. Uh, we could get Snapjaw Swarms, make them O4s. Yeah, so you can purchase uh, these reroll tokens for 30 gold well i don't have 60 gold for the snapjaw swarm anyway so let's head on up here yeah we're just gonna save the money you got feral senses as your first power yeah that's a good first power specific specifically with pike Try to keep putting Pike on top before you attack. Alright, we'll put Pike back into the deck to give us a you know a little bit better chance of getting that never mind. The death from below, that's what I was gonna say. I'm just gonna have so many Boros. Alright, so no lurk. Give me a sweet bun. Tightens the senses. There we go. He's done. I guess that's their Fade Blade Twirler power. When you gain the attack token, stun the weakest enemy. Night. Pike, so the pike can start uh, getting the damage in. I guess I could have cast this blood bait and put the snapjaw swarm on top of the deck, so I would have lurked. But also, I don't really even care to draw a snapjaw swarm next round. Think it fast, cute. Never lost a fair game. Who says I don't share? Yeah, doing the doing one run with the brand new Scourge Labs, and then we will be. Uh, 
And then we'll be playing two ranked decks, Pompey Braum and Aphelios Nami. Which I should change the title of the stream to for that. Okay. So it took one point of damage that game. Okay, we get Yordle Grifter support. Give me, give my supported ally plus one plus one this round. Okay, so it's Yordle Grifter that is also War Chefs. Oh, we just get Nami with plus one plus one. All right, well we'll do that. We have so many champions. All right, we get two treasure chests. Well, these treasure chests going to be a pick a card. Progress day that cost, can cost three less. What does this thing do? An ally strikes an enemy. If it survives, stun it. Cost four. Eh. Win cash all two copies in your deck. It cost one. I think I want the pick a card. Guess. Okay, so we're gonna choose pick a card. Let's see what's in this chest. 45 gold, cool. So this one right here, you can tell this is gonna be a health station. If you're going for that S tier rating, don't use the health station. Oh, we, we lost three life, not two life. Or not one life last round, we lost three. Four champions already. We just started. Well, this is a curve. Let's send these two back. I sent them back because I kind of decided that not to play the Fizz. It looks like the opponent has the same amount of mana as us. Because I feel like saving up some spell mana. We have like these things that do blocking anyway. Just fill the board. Old maps let young eyes see clearly. My people are counting on me. Hmm. I've all these units are pretty useless, so I guess I could have attacked. Obviously got really punished for not attacking with the hike right there. Yeah, I should have just attacked. Alright, that silent shadow seer is kinda of scary. What? Yeah, we're taking huge hits from the Shadow Seer. You're bluffing. That's a lot of Nexus damage there. What does their, what does their thing do when a unit dies? Grant a random unit in that player's hand plus one plus zero? Oh. Well, that's pretty good. Are we doing eight? Oh. That does stuff for me, too. Well, I definitely should have attacked that previous round. I guess I should. I, think I should play stuff. Now I pack a punch. that being killing Nami.
Good night, Mordecai. the attack with the 2-1. Right. So I want to get the pike in. Get its level up going. The that of course means I don't get to play the other two mana cards to make sure we level up Nami. This card, the Swarm. Oh hey, how about that? Oh gosh. That's a thing. Alright, so Pike stays alive. It doesn't doesn't kill the original 4-6 double attack, but as long as they don't have any ways to give that 4-6 double attack any keywords, we'll be good. Hey, what about that? Level up, Pike. Never mind. What is that? 13? Okay, so that one took a while. And we took a lot of elusive damage. We're all the way down to 15. So we may have to use this healing uh, station, considering I don't have any ways to heal my Nexus right now. So the only bilge water card is this jawfish, and it is a lurk though. So like that part's good, but it's super expensive at eight mana. But it's a very powerful card. I'm gonna take it. Sure, we have some jawfish. Get another lurk body in here. We already have like infinite um, one one poros, right? So we don't need all sorts of stuff. All right, we're gonna go with this ancient coin. Cost one less. That sounds good. Okay, so we're at 17 out of 26 right now. Yes, yeah, so we can cut one of these cards, like cut like Petty Officer. And get rid of it. Which isn't bad. I'm going to hold that right there. I'm not worried about dying from 17, so I'm just going to hold that right there. We'll see if we need it later. Hey, <laughs> wow. Yeah, Jay Maskell says, starting to realize how hard a ranked grind is. I attract all the hardcore fighters, even in iron. Yeah. It, yeah, ranks, rank's not easy. That's for sure. All right, we got Ionia, sparring student. Uh, this seems like a hand to kind of keep. We'll get rid of these two. You can just go back in there somewhere else. Snapjaw Swarm. Okay, so everything Sparring Student. When a unit is summoned, give that player's weakest ally plus one plus one in this round. Okay. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. 
Always gotta clear up space. No, Pike. I didn't get to death from below you. Mind things dying with having the little the little buddies power. Oh, this is an easier fight again. They're already at three. Uh, Man for you. Get him, Fizz. I know you ain't afraid. Nami. Okay. Yeah, Bobby says, no jokes. He's right. I was playing on my alt account that's iron and all that, and they don't have any... They don't have a really big skill gap. And yeah, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see... Um, you know, players are players are good, just in general. People are pretty good at this game. Man, the... the Jaw Hunters is pretty nice, but then this thing... You know, play starter free attack, but it's just a 3-mana 2-2. Two -two. I just, I just want to keep in Bilgewater. I just want, I'm just going to stay in Bilgewater. Okay, so we can have this healer. Again, heal or cut a card. We can cut that Jawfish. <laughs> I don't want to cut any of the Lurks. Brash Gambler. When allies attack, nab one. Hey, Yixt. Yeah, we're doing a Lurk Lab. We have 20 health. Sending Pike back and try to death from below the Pike. Or keep it in my hand. You know, either one, really. I'm doing good. Doing good, yeah. I always absolutely love new Lab of Legends, so very excited about this. Huh. Rude. They nabbed my Otterpus. That's rude. I mean, while it is kind of true that I wasn't using it, that's still pretty rude to nab. I would have had Bloodbait on top and we would have been able to lurk. But then they played that veteran investigator. And now we don't lurk. Kill the twist of eight more than the pike. My people are counting on me. I'm feeling lucky. I'm definitely thinking about going bone skewer with the pike on the gambler, put the pike on top. So we get to turn it into death from below. Now 
now that thing's three. I shall simply wait. Didn't work out so well. Pike will never die. <laughs> I don't have to play it to be, of course, because the daring four is lethal anyway. Uh, so not real, really any reason to play that, but my pike shall never die. That's the reason to play that. All right, good win. We're moving on. Trinket trade. It's not the bilge water card, but it's just the best card. Sorry, my mail. All right, we get treasure chest. Ooh, level five. Yes, new power. Well, we don't need to summon any more sparring students. Let's give all of our... Um, let's go with the welcome gifts. Let's just give all of our poros more keywords. Keywords are fun. So we can get double fizz or have pick a card cost zero mana. Hmm. This is when I'm summoned, summon an ephemeral copy of me. And my, my camera's kind of covering that up. That's what it says. So we, we get like two fizzes. I think I'm going zero mana pick a card. I mean, zero mana cards are just really good. Like, that's just kind of like what you want a lot. As you just want a lot of zero mana cards. Let's kind of go back to the shop. We have a lot more gold now. We can kind of see if there's anything. Nah. Nah. I could see maybe doing the Snapjaw Swarm. Make Snapjaw Swarm. No. No. You know, make that have four health. I'm just going to save the gold. Replace, replace. I don't know. Core Creatures helps out Nami with the Attune. Let's play a Nami game. Where I just don't play stuff and save my spell mana. Rude. Oh, I could enable Plunder Poro there and had like three additional keywords on this Plunder Poro. <laughs> Those are both Poros. It's like even Double Trouble is just making only Poros for us. My people are counting on me. I don't know, Tough Scout. Both tough, but Challenger Augment. Alright, so that's five. Improve this Challenger Augment. Alright, 
got the lurk, got the lurk. Okay, I'm playing Plunder Poro. I shouldn't, because if I don't, then we level up Nami. But come on. Gotta play Plunder Poro. Alright, so we got Quick Attack, Fearsome, Fury. That's pretty cool. But yeah, obviously there's no real reason for me to play it. Get him, Pike. Ooh, Pike has Challenger. Not me. I, will drive back the darkness. I thought we were doing the Pike Saltwater Scourge, not the Nami Saltwater Scourge. Guess this Plucky Poro's got Scout. Alright, well, they had to take out Nami out the door. They were like, well, I can't take this monster harpoon with me. Might as well use it. Alright, so so far, so good. Pokey Stick that makes a Poro. I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, that's a lot, but we already have so many Poros. I just don't really want that. So we're going to take this Black Market Merchant, get some Nab on. All right, so another healing, another healer, I guess. 11 health or cut a card. I'm going to try not using the healer for a little bit. Maybe we don't need to. <laughs> you thought we were a Nami Poro deck? No, we're a Pike deck that just also happened to end up getting Twist of Fate and Fizz and Nami. And then our, our power is little buddies. Little Buddy's a pretty good power. This is a terrible use of resources. But whatever. No, Pike! Like I said, terrible use of resources. This is just killing a Poro to deal one damage. It's just not really even worth it. Round start, create a return in hand. Round end, recall your weakest unit. gets recalled. I'm gonna start doing something. I haven't really been doing anything. pretty cool though they get like the free monastery ability round start and then returns you know getting burst speed returns it's pretty cool Deal me in. 
Overwhelmed was it they? Dead in their tracks. Yeah. Alright, looks like I may actually have to use the healing pod. Even though I wasn't really planning on it. But we need to not die. Not dying would be ideal. Brutal. My people are counting on me. Hoping for an elusive. No good amount of their cards. Pardon scales. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we're doing that. All right. All right, we're gonna kill this one and block. matter. Alright, fine. Final answer. Okay, so we're taking three down to eight. So we're not dead yet. Man, talk about a good one drop right there. The wings and the wave. That's a good one drop. Oh, Nami's elusive. I could have blocked. I didn't. I, yeah, I missed that. I missed that Nami was elusive. I did miss that. Not bad, not bad. Alright, no scout there. Always forward. Okay, they're down to four. Their deck's really cool. That's really cool. I need to cut these petty officers. Man, these petty officers are useless. Elusive. Figured that out. I cleared some room. <laughs> Adaptatron with a spell shield. 
I got another elusive with the petty officer. One point lifesteal. Let's bump those numbers up a little bit. Uh, I guess. You're the only thing with scout, then scales of the dragon blocks. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll stack with them. Well, they're still alive. Embrace the current or be swept away. That's my priority. Take another three. Oh, but I guess I, I do have the life steal. Alright, down to seven. We are gonna need the healing uh, uh, the healing station. This is a crazy game. I leveled up Twisted Fate. Now this game's heating up. Yeah, my opponent didn't use their prank last game. They were spending their mana on other stuff. Red card. And that will finish it out. Okay. Finally. I made that game look really difficult. Man, that was a that was a crazy game there. If you're trying to go for like the the time with the S tier, definitely don't want to get in a fight there. And you can get double monkey idol. I guess I guess the second one doesn't really do anything. Um yeah, so I guess Ben and Mooney. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just going Ben and Mooney. I don't really. I don't think we need out of the other ones. I could use a reroll, but I don't really need to reroll. Okay. So let's see. What do we have? Let's travel over here. We can. Ooh, purchase a power. Feral senses for four hundred. Trifarian might for three hundred. I don't think I have too much stuff for that. Let's get feral senses. Try to put Pike on top every round. Yeah. Alright, that's awesome. There goes all my gold. All my gold. Featured. I can't afford anything. Alright, let's rest up. We'll need it. We have 14 health. So we're back up to 21. Should we... Uh... Okay, I don't think we're going to need every single health, like, healing thing. And since I'm already using them anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of these petty officers. Let's cut those from the deck. I still have one healing station left. And then, of course, the... Yeah. <laughs> um, that's true. The Feral Presence with the Nami is going to be awesome as well. They got Jagged Taskmaster. Oh, 
Oh, this has augment? Man, that's crazy good. Alright, skip. Huh. This fizz just always has elusive. They just got a fizz that always has elusive, but whenever they attack, they create a random one cost ally. Make it rain. Wow. Make it rain. Well then. Cross pick a card. Let the tide carry you. Let's get through. That's good to have a Nami. You won't stop me. Curses. Okay. I think it's quick attack challenger. Let's just attack first. See what they do. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. Alright, put that back. Pass. They do nothing else. Feral presence. Which I should definitely feral presence first because you know then we could have put Pike on top, which is like the whole point of like what I was doing. We're gonna maybe put Pike on top. Pass. And never lost a fair beat. Like eyes open. A blue card help out Nami. So I definitely should have done all this stuff instead of just attacking right away. Yeah, I could have got Life Steal with the Twisted Fate. Attacking right away was not the correct choice. I don't have any elusives. I could like play like one of these and try to see if they turn into an elusive, but whatever. I don't really need them. They can go away. Okay, so we're taking four, but we're about to have some large life steal. drawing more than I thought we I thought I played two pick of cards that round I guess not I guess not Danger, hey. impact 
Scout. Grows the Bark Beast. I really didn't do this very well. Who else has Challenger? Oh, Nami does? I could have done that a lot better. Okay, so one, one thing to talk about with these labs, if you're very patient and you want to take your time and everything, you can, especially with a, um, a power like Welcome Gifts, you can... You can play it slow. Your your opponent's the AI. They're not going to concede any of these games. So if you want, you can do something like just not attack with anything else and just wait until, you know, like these lifesteal cards, um, like, continue to kill the opponent. Like, you know, you can, you can definitely do that. That is an option. Now, we get the blue card when we play a spell, which gets me to 6 out of 7 for this Nami. Lifesteal. Okay, lose a pike. Alright, getting get more lifesteal. I guess Ben Amuni does create two pranks. So two spells. The Mirai will never know fear again. And I'm gonna let them. I'm playing this turn kind of slow. I'm gonna let them do stuff. I should have covered you up first. Oh, we got a lot of pick of cards. Alright, we're getting all the last steel. I only play one of these two cards anyway. Okay, so back up to 28. 28 is the maximum. Back up there. I'm just setting up like the biggest lifesteal attack that I could. So that's what I was talking about. If you want to be patient, and make sure to heal your nexus a whole lot you can because we're about to go face the boss we're about to go face karma who's going to be really difficult um man i like both of these i like the yordle grifter because we have almost all bilge water cards in hand so we're going to be hitting that allegiance basically all the time give that thing plus one plus one that's kind of nice but i'm going to go again with this bouncing bomb minus two cost um yeah i'm going to go with that just subtracting the cost on everything always good so useful card. Yeah, and that's true. If I continually take cards from other regions like that, it makes Yordle Grifter worse. Okay, here's Karma. I'm 
I send you back. So I think with Karma, if I remember correctly, you start with 10 mana. Both, yeah, both players start at 10 mana. So you kind of need ways to spend, like you want to have, like this is this is bad for us that we both start with 10 mana, right? Because we don't actually have that many ways to use a lot of mana in our deck. It's not helpful. Pick a card can give me more cards. Benamoni, Benamuni with the pranks. Of course, every time we play a pick a card, we get two other. They're put two other pick a cards in here, which is how we had so many pick a cards. Um. Yeah, this boss fight's pretty tough. Why did I play the Nami first? So that whenever I play the spell, then we get the plus one plus zero. I need to play the Nami first. All right, let's grab Ben Mooney to go with the Nami. Yeah, I, I need to play Nami first. I won't stand by. I hate it. Slow burst. Might as well knock him down. That just kills, you know, kills my Nami, which is the big problem here. See, that's the thing is, I'm just gonna run out of. Run out of space. Or like run out of cards in hand. Sorry, this I'm just gonna run out of cards in hand. Okay, this is a permanent grant vulnerable. Alright, this is when I'm summoned draw a card, Benamuni. I forgot Benamuni had that ability when I'm summoned draw a card, so I am glad. Let's put Twisted Fate on top. I am glad I put that on top with the Feral Presence. Wow, double Aurora Borealis. No, stop with the Shatters. That Ben Mooney was going to do great at killing this thing. I need that Nami not to die. Oh no, I should have attacked. I should have attacked. Leveling up Fizz is honestly really important. Yes, we alert. Good. All or nothing. I guess both of your attacking doesn't really make any sense. This is the tough Poro. Alright, we kill Karma. Hey, look at that, lifesteal. So this Overwhelm, Scout, Augment, Lifesteal. Uh-oh. What do they have? Okay, 6-6, six, six, Challenger tough? I don't like that Challenger part. Need 
the sea monster. Well, I guess Jaw Hunters is just like Chum the Waters. Yes, we hit a death from below. That's some luck. Okay, so if this Flock to the Poros would have been much, much bigger if they would have used that other thing first. Sorry, Twist of Fate. You came close. You did great. I have room for the um, for the pike that I'm gonna make with the death from death from below. I'm missing out on this gal. killing the fluffed, but never mind. Gotta kill Karma. Okay, Pikes are almost leveled up. Alright, I'm gonna swarm on top just for the lurk. So now, if they challenge with the tough, now Pike will level up. Because it is 5 power before, so you'd think it would do 5 damage, but it would only do 4 damage to the tough, so it would not have leveled up doing damage to that, that thing. Okay, but then they blocked there, so that's going to go... Alright, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so that's not actually going to really work for me. Taking so much damage. I think it's overwhelm. Okay, that doesn't do anything. We should have done the plus zero, plus three, the other way around. All right, so Pike levels up here. Should kill this thing. I mean, we, we kill him here, but then, but now this overwhelm damage goes through. We can get him more dead. And each time that this struck with the impact, that was pretty cool. Pike with impact. And then how Pike kills, like, the rest of the stuff. And then continues to impact. And that's pretty cool. Okay, Citrus Courier healing allies and the Nexus 3 is really nice. Oh, man. But then this thing... I don't know how I'm going to give this thing Challenger. 
there's also Bandle City Mayor, which is incredible. Oh, all three of these cards are so good. But the, the Lich Bane, when you cast a spell, grant me plus one, plus one, considering we get a free spell every single round. Uh, I do have a lot of four mana cards anyway. Yeah, we... I don't have, like, the list in my deck, but we can create the list. You know, like, we, we created it last time. I think we just have to take the Lich Bane, don't we? All right, we'll take that Lich Bane. Getting free spell every single round. Ooh, new level. Do we get new power? New power? Okay. We can get a new champion thing. When I'm summoned, summon ephemeral copy. That could be nice for... When I'm, de I'm deep, I'm a sea monster. That could be nice for Nami... You know, just getting double attuned, basically. Eh. I kind of think I want to reroll. I mean, we could give something spell shield, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the reroll. We don't need to reroll yet. Um, I guess we'll make two Namis. Double Nami. Oh, that could be really good though for like the one round of like giving two plus, especially if it's already leveled up, and then you play a bunch of spells. You think I should get Sea Monster Nami? Deep Nami. Okay, healer. We don't really need the healer. We can cut. Uh, we can kind of cut any of these. We don't really need Island Navigator. Don't really need the double up. I think I'd rather have the double up in my deck, though, than the Island Navigator. Or the Coral Creatures. I don't know, don't really need any of these. What is this healer? What are we what can we cut from this one? Let's see, what can we cut? The jawfish. Alright, we're gonna cut the jawfish. Um, also, what does this thing sell? Because I actually have coins now. Okay, nothing I'm interested in. Okay. None of these are, like, the best cuts. I'll just save it for now. Let's go this way. We get good treasure chests and stuff like this. When you summon a non-sea monster ally, draw one and toss two. Okay. Yeah, it is a lurker that we cut, but, you know, just an extra lurker we added in afterwards. That It's not that great. I feel like I have these island navigators all the time. I cannot get rid of these items. They everywhere. Um, I mean, Gallant Rider is good, but I'll just skip. Trying to hit Death from Below. Or Nami. No death from below, no. Uh, so I'll just skip. I mean, it could have lurked. Could have played this, the swarm and lurked. But I don't really want to with having this Nami in hand. I kind of want to play the Nami next round. Well. I should have put that lurker on top, shouldn't I? I guess we should probably wait to play Nami until Nami's leveled up. It was Pike. I'm telling you. Ooh. All right, new Pike on top.
Alright, so I still need four more spell mana. Give me three more spell mana. Okay, about to level up Nami. Six out of seven. Okay, we're going to start by going uh, one and one. Yeah, the pike has regen. Okay, next up we got scout attack. Where's the scout? You're the scout. Scout attack. Okay, so we know... So just kind of checking to see, you know, do we hit lurk or not. So we know we do not hit lurk. But now I have the room for double Nami. I, won't let my I, I, will find I had to get the... I, will save my people. I had to get that scout unit out of here. Okay, so double Nami, predict. We'll put a lurk on top. And pick a guard. Those don't even buff up the pikes. I want them to buff up the pikes. All right, two damage to this thing. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So now these pikes, you know, they can't block them with a quick attack. Send y'all in. You can go in. You're elusive. You can go in anyway. All right. Now we talking. Hit the lurk. This is pretty cool, having two leveled up Namis <laughs> in play with two bikes. This is pretty cool. Alright, this little guy's got lifesteal. Lifesteal always good. Okay, Feral Presence, let's buff up the lifesteal. All right, hit a Snapjaw Swarm. That's cool. Buff up Lifesteal. Unfortunately, now we're going to buff up the Otterpus. Oh, Otterpus Lifesteal. That's what's up. Alright, well, let's see the Destin Poro animation, because Destin Poro animation cool. Oh, it's round start. Okay. Yeah. How does Destin Poro have a better level up animation than Teemo? Also, Lifesteal. How about that? Life steal, life steal, life steal. I can't back down. Okay, actually, let's do four, then five. Four won't kill him, then five will kill him. All right, GGs. We're continuing on with our pike run. Pike run's going good. I cost zero when cast deal damage to your nexus equal to my original cost. So we can have zero mana stress defense, but if we ever play a stress defense, it does three damage to us. That's a kind of a cool little ability. I like it. All right, we'll take it.
So it's going to hurt us to play that stress defense if we ever want to actually play it. A glorious chest. Ugh. Not the best. I guess... Hmm. I guess the hammer snout. When I'm summoned, draw a card. Okay. I can't. I can't see what this is. When can't. When cast, there's a fifty percent chance. To, I can't I can't see what this says because that's where you know my camera is right there. Okay, when cast there's a fifty percent chance to cast to create a copy of me that costs zero. And hand this around. That's not that bad. Benamuni play starts a free attack. I like that. Just basically because the Benamuni's already gonna draw a card, and then this thing getting fearsome also pretty good. And so getting more copies of both of those is pretty good. I'm gonna save save my money though, but those are like good to just know that that those are, you know, the options. I want to know what these options are. Minus three cost on this, minus three cost on Battle Fury, or minus three cost three, three cost on Treasure Trash. Okay, Mariah Great Mother, minus three costing some stuff. All right, let's get this big this big fight up here. Um. Actually, let's do this fight down here. Oi. You did this earlier with Misfortune. You got Aurelia, and it was an easy win. Had the Jagged Butcher with when to play, draw a card, and had five of those, so it was very easy. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to uh, Mulligan... I don't know. I think you do get more points depending on how fast you win these games. So, like, I'm not winning these games very fast at all. I am taking a long time to win these games, especially, like, with all these Feral Presences and stuff. But I think you do... Um, I think you do gain points for how fast you win. Like, more points for the wealth. Like, to level up faster and everything. Like, more XP. There we go. I guess XP is the better word. Take a good sized hit here. Save this boss. Death from below. Death from below. So they have round start. Okay, all allied bubble bears have round start. Grant me plus one plus zero. Okay, so every bubble bear growing every round start. Um, so that's how that is. I'm gonna put this gallant rider on top. Cool, Pikes got tough. All right, Gallant Rider time. First time playing this card, you know, in this mode. It will also have tough. All right, we're going to Feral Presence first. Oh man, the Benamuni's good. 
put you on top, but you're not a lurker, so I'm gonna put this lurker on top of the Ben Mooney. No scouts. Challenge. I don't know, here. There. We know we have that Ben Mooney on top. Let's go like this. Let's go blue card, draw that. So I can get it out. And then we can do these things and put, you know, make sure we have a lurker on top for the snap draw swarm. Eyes open. Darkling has Lurk. They're down to six. Let's see. I'm sure. You're bluffing. You can block, you can block. You can block. Doesn't matter. That's an odd decision. I don't know why they did that. That was a very odd decision. I can't tell you why they did that. Alright, level up, Pike. Yeah, I guess they did because computers aren't perfect. I guess that's why. My plan was this free attack. That's kind of my plan here. But now, then they played this 10-8. And that plan got a lot worse. So the Snapdraw Swarm, how it gets a random keyword from the welcome gifts, it got Scout for the random keyword, and so whenever it attacked, it gave us the attack token again. So we were going to be able to attack with everything, including Pike, that next, like that round. That was pretty sweet. Wow, I like all these. I it's definitely the first or the last. So lost riches with plunder costs three less. So one mana lost riches. That's pretty cool. Create some treasures in the deck, and then we have we have like the predicts to go find the treasures. Like that's pretty awesome. Um, also, this you know both players draw two, and it just starts in our game in our hand. Both players draw two. It's not bad either. I I'm gonna go with the lost riches. Plunder costs three less. Okay, what do we get down here? In this shop. 
fleet feather tracker with like infinite fleet feather trackers that's amazing oh this would heal my nexus that would be pretty good and lich's bane on the bubble bear oh man lich's bane is just such a good thing to have and then it's elusive and it's already a really big body and it attunes which is good for nami Yeah, they are 180, but like Fleet Feather Tracker, we can just continually play over and over. You want to go like Bubble Bear, Lich Bane, I think. That looks pretty good. Again, we'll just hold on to we'll just hold on to our co coins for now. We'll kind of see, but I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm only level six. Like I am not. We have not leveled up very fast in this. Um, I, it doesn't even look like we're gonna hit level eight, and I think it's because we're taking too long to win these games so i don't think we're gonna hit, hit level eight all right let's go with the nami game my plunder pour home that ain't cool i was gonna hit him turn on plunder speaking of plunder pour home i was gonna turn on plunder and then play a one mana lost riches All right, so they got the Yordle Grifter powers. A round start, steal the weakest enemy follower this round. So they steal the weakest enemy follower every single round start. Those two are both fearsome. So I can't block. I don't think I block my own thing. Unfortunately. Shield. I guess this other pike can be the pike's champion spell is good. It can be the pike's champion spell. Okay. So let's see. I need to need to spend spell mana before I can attune. We're at three. I'm gonna go ahead and use this and put Pike on top so I create a death from below. Four, five. Which I guess that means I'm not playing this Feral Presence. But that's just how it is. Alright, we get Death from below. Now, create two treasures. Get a spell mana. You said spell mana. Now, save this three. That should level up a Nami. below the pike. Ooh, challenger pike. That's what I'm talking. They're probably going to attack, right? I hope they attack. Thank you. Okay, we get to clear some stuff out. Get out of here, get out of here, and I guess you block the quick attack. Um, I need to clear some space. 
your elusive, your elusive and fury, your fury and challenger. I want this light. I guess we can't block the life steal. I want that card back. Okay, level up Nami. Embrace the current or be swept away. Ride the surging tide. Let the tide carry you. Ride with the surf. Let the tide carry you. No, hit the pike. Oh, they don't like buffing up my pike. No, they took my lifesteal again. <laughs> All right, never get lifesteal, I suppose. Never, never lifesteal. Hmm. Okay, so another death from below. Draw death from below. But with this thing being um pleading, I'm just gonna play it. Yeah, Yordle Grifter is secretly Viegos. There goes my life steal. That I wanted so bad. Finally buffed up <laughs> the uh, the pike. Challenge. 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 All right, down to thirteen. I don't have an elusive to stop that thing. I mean, I guess I guess we just run below it. Now I can't gold card. Ugh, I got death from below. But of course, I don't want to death from below because I don't have room for the actual pike. Room for this pike. Hmm. But I'd rather not take five damage. We're gonna be able to kill them pretty easily with all the stuff that we have. So no life steal. If we want, we could keep playing. We could basically you basically keep playing stuff until you hit welcome gifts life steal if you want. But I don't really want to do that. Let's go into school card something. No life steal still. Get rid of a blocker. Plus two cost. Those cards don't help. Minus two power. Let 
Pike on top. And GG's. Oh, we had an elusive blocker for the elusive? Oh. All these different keywords on everything, it's it's tough to keep track of, especially like where like how the camera kinda hurts that also. It's hard for me to see what all these are. Okay, so I guess we're gonna take the attack nav one on the sharklings. I wanna put more lurks in the deck. So we'll go ahead and have our different sharklings have attack nav one, I suppose. Alright, finally level seven. Refill your spell mana every round. That's kind of nice. We don't need when your ha and hand is empty. Draw a card. When you draw a card, give allies plus one plus zero. This round is also not bad. I think this is where we use our reroll, though. Sorcery is okay. We're going to reroll. All right. All of our allies everywhere that cost three or less are lurkers and have lurk. Yes, please. That'll help stuff out. It's gonna help out Pike. So we can just put Keelbreaker in our deck, but plus one cost. I don't know if I want a Keelbreaker. Deal five to all units. I don't think I do. Just a fleeting Fury of the North. Meh. I'm not gonna purchase any of those. All right, healer. We can go with our plus eight health, or we can cut a card. Those are all pretty useful cards. What do we get over here with this chest? 136 gold. Take the treasure. All right, I have another fight over here to win that I haven't won yet. That we can get an additional card with this. Yeah, I, I am not going to make it to level 8 at all. Oh, right. Refill spell mana really would level up Nami super fast, wouldn't it? Really? <laughs> I think that was giving everything lurk. Oh, Nami's going to have lurk. Sure. Lost riches with lurk. Yeah, we have Pike deck, though. But yeah, we could have made... Could have had something really cool for, for Nami. Yuck. All right, cool. Hit our lurk. Put a treasure in the deck. Two treasures, in fact. Ooh, Snapjaw Swarm. So they get a random keyword every round, everything, or... Oh, no, just the first ally gets elusive. Okay. Sharkling with the nab. We'll take you. Yeah, lifesteal. No, don't kill my lifesteal. Jaw Hunters does have Lurk. Just gonna put Jaw Hunters there. Who's got Challenger? You? You're a 4 1? Alright, take that one. Man, when you have little buddies and then giving everything Lurk, <laughs> this kills people pretty quickly. Alright, are they down to two? They're down to two little, that is. Elusive. Right, you have elusive. Rise with the surf. Ride the surf in time. Uh 
can't um can't go death from below but oh well yeah, we, I mean we did level up fizz once okay okay we're looking pretty strong we got one other one more fight before the final boss <laughs> yeah Nami's just doing lots of talking Wind cast, 50% chance of doing his thing. Oh, oh, I can't, like, go buy re-rolls, and then I have to choose a card to add to the deck. I don't really want any of these, though. I guess we're going to take this loot in Zeko. I don't know. One mana Entreat's not bad. One mana Draw Champion. That's actually probably pretty good. Let's just do that. Let's do one mana Draw Champion. Oh, wow, we, we reached level 8 with just that one game? Oh, why can't I go buy more rerolls? I need more rerolls. Oh, I should I should have just stacked up on rerolls. So, the only one that makes any sense, I think, is the Enfeebling Strike. I don't think the Leaves, the Thieves Tools, I don't think that makes any sense. And I don't care about this. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. The Blade's Edge. Wait. I figured out the Blade's Edge against Gangplank. Because Gangplank, if I remember right, makes like a powder keg every single round that's like really annoying. Okay, so we don't want any of these. See, I, I should have bought these reroll tokens. Okay, so lesson learned. You have to stack up on, you have to stack up on those beforehand. All right, get rid of Island Navigator. Got that card. Lesson learned. Kind of checking all of our different uh, shops. See if there's anything that we want to go back and purchase. And it doesn't look like it. I'm just going to have all these coins for nothing. I should I should have purchased rerolls because we could get some amazing... We could get amazing power. Bubble Bear. All right, let's get Bubble Bear. Because Bubble Bear is going to have... You know, it's three or less. And it has the Lich's Bane. We're buying some Bubble Bears. All right, we got three Bubble Bears in our deck now. With that Lich's Bane. And then it's also going to... It'll be a Lurker. So that's adding in more Lurkers. Oh, this thing has minus two cost? I, I guess I didn't see this. So pick one of three spells. So that's just absolutely free. When you win cast, draw a champion? Pilfer Goods plus draw a champion? Why didn't I just buy rerolls right now, though? Could have had Could have had a cool... Wait, can I leave and then I can go buy this? I can leave and go buy rerolls. Okay, you can only purchase one. You have to like purchase one from each one of these. All right, yeah, these are minus three costs. I don't care about any of those. This is. Uh, yeah, I don't care about any of these. Can you cut this double up? We can also heal. It's eight health. Yeah, I don't think we need to heal. We'll just get rid of this double up. All right, reroll. What else we got? These aren't very good. No. Reroll. I guess... Man, I don't really want any of these. Yeah, Hidden Pathways Draw Champion would have drawn like three cards, sure. I mean, that's fine. If we want to spend mana to draw cards. 
kind of feel like we don't need to do that. Like that we'll have we'll have things to spend our mana on all the time, and we don't need to spend mana to draw cards. That we'll, we'll want to spend mana on other stuff. These are pretty decent. I think I'm going to take this Riptide. Um, yeah, I'm going to just take the Riptide because I could see a big spooky gangplank that's like really powerful coming in and attack and kill me. So we'll take the Riptide. Okay, we get one more, one more battle just to get something else before the final boss. We could probably just go final boss straight up, but we'll go ahead and take on this one last battle. The Eye of the Dragon. Got to turn all those cards into Lurkers. And this is a good hand. Get rid of that. Eye of the Dragon. What do you do, Eye of the Dragon? When you cast your first spell each round, summon a Dragling. And your Draglings have plus two, plus zero. Interesting. <laughs> I'm like over there trying to attack. So we're gonna have plenty of stuff to spend our mana on. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Fizz. Fizz is a good lurker. That's good. That gives him the draggling. That was good. Oh, my life steal to hit. Gen Pike. Oh no. Oh, you can kill that thing. That's fine. Um. Mm. Bubble Bear. Yes, more life steal. That's good. All right, bubble bear tune. Nami. Nami's a good lurker. Let's go ahead and try to shoot that thing. All right, cool. Throws bubble bear. Instinct is no substitute for planning. You act, but do not see. Our deck's looking good. Our deck's looking good. Yeah, Feral Presence with, like, everything being Lurker. This is looking pretty good. And, uh, let's see. We're gonna Blades Edge that, but throw this thing in front just in case. Our Bubble Bears are so big. Which I should've just let that die. I should've kept... Yeah, I should have kept that. There's a pair of gills I'm happy to see. There's a nami, rulers of the sea. There's a nami. Bouncing bomb, entreat. Go with entreat. Rise with the earth. All right, 
retreat. What's up, Pike? Oh, uh, little blade's edge up there. Enable plunder for this thing. Snapjaw swarm. See, quick attack, quick attack. Elusive, elusive. Oh, this is elusive fearsome too. Alright, let's go with you. Alright, we got a full Nexus health of 34. Dude, our bubble bears are OP. They are some really fearsome bubble bears. I'm pretty excited about these bubble bears taking down Gangplank. And finally... What do you do? Refill your spell mana, give an ally elusive and plus one plus one this round for two mana. So it's net gain one mana, give something elusive and plus one plus one. And it's also just great with Nami. That's awesome. But then this play, I start a free attack. So how does this work? Do you like blade dance one and how did I don't even know how that I don't even know how that works. Last breath rally? That card's awesome also. Like this is these are all awesome. Pick Ribbon Dancer for science. Okay. <laughs> yeah, is it one free attack or two? I don't even know. I, I think I'm going to take the Shell game, though. Like, the Shell game leveling up Nami sounds awesome. Plus, I'm, we've played a lot of Ribbon Dancers. Just, like, I've never played a Shell game before. Never played. Like, I've never cast that card. And don't think I ever will cast that card. Okay, here we go. Gangplank. Final boss time. Alright, Mulligan. Keep actually. Yeah, let's just keep this. Throw it costs zero. It does three damage to my Nexus, but actually, it, just, it costs zero. It's worth it. Alright, we have the attack token. Yep, yep, yep. Fizz with spell shield. <laughs> uh... Man, the otter. The trinket trade is the best card. But that one doesn't have Lurk. So let's go with something that has Lurk like Coral Creatures. I guess this is worth it. It's 3 damage. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Say your farewells. I, wanted, I wanted to trade those. Skip, I want a champion. y'all have challenger no guess we'll play this thing I suppose I've played so far only three shark 
Darkling's a lurk, but not a very good lurk. But a, alas, a lurk. Deck is so good. <laughs> Man, our deck is good. Alright, does two to that, then two to the Nexus. That's fine. I mean, I need something to die anyway. Right, your terms are acceptable. Regen. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Pike. You know, I don't really have a way to attack this round. But we shall take the pike. Spell shield, this has regen. I guess I'd rather have the regen and the two health. Here's some pike. Here's some Pike who will be elusive this round. I want to give it plus one, plus one. Nami, bu bu Bubble Bear. Both those cards are awesome. Now we're just going to kill him with these blades edges and parlays. That's too bad. Don't get to do cool Nami stuff. But we've been doing two cool Nami stuff for the last two hours, so we're probably okay. GG. I think GG's. There we go. So you decide to have that stress defense. <laughs> stress defense MVP. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. That's a pike run. So we kind of learned to make sure you have... Um, some different um, the rerolls. Make sure you have them in your back pocket. Purchase them right away, because then you can't you can't like go purchase them like if, when once you level up, it immediately takes you to like your different powers, and that's really where you want to use your rerolls or on your your power. We got an A skill for zero deaths. Um, we are we are so slow. We didn't even get like a C or anything. <laughs> we yeah we we were very very slow here uh, with this game. I you know. Took my time, played it control style for sure. Let's get aggro for that, but um, a wealth, a skill. So there we go. Strongest card was the Nami, supposedly, but I don't know. We had a lot of strong cards in here, and our deck was very good. But we did what we were trying to do. We got the a skill, zero deaths run. So now we have uh, four out of the five with a or better skill. All right, so there you go. There's a walkthrough for Pike. 
So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know which one of your these two champions is your favorite, Nami or Pike with the new ones. Um, if you're struggling with any of these, feel free to ask any questions or anything like that. But hopefully this guide helped you out and uh, helped kind of show how to play through the Saltwater Scourge. All right, but that's going to be it here for the Saltwater Scourge with Pike. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.